what is up ladies and gentlemen today is a is a good day because I'm finally being able to take the time to pick the camera up um, as you can see on YouTube I haven't been around in a month doing anything uh, just with finals and just some other stuff that's been going on it has been a wild ride the last four weeks and I am ready to get out so that is exactly what we're doing the turkey mobile is loaded up and we're on the way to Indiana right now so I'll see y'all on the road all right guys well we made it to the spot that I'm gonna be kind of setting up at I just have the the truck parked right here and as you guys know from last year all my stuff is in the back right there so we'll be just sleeping in the back I'm gonna go ahead and get some of my stuff on and um, I got here a little later than what I wanted to I thought I was gonna have about two hours of hunting um, but instead I'm at about 30 minutes so I probably am not going to hunt um, here but or like right now but I am gonna walk down one of these trails the way got some long trails and uh, I'm gonna walk down and work on or do some owl hooting or uh, some yelping before it gets too dark and uh, maybe we can put one to bed and have a place to start in the morning which would be ideal but it is very very green very thick and uh, we should be able to slip in tight on one if we can hear one because after all it is really thick but I'm real excited so I'm gonna put you guys up real quick and uh, and start getting dressed all right well we didn't hear anything tonight but typically they'll gobble in the morning um, as opposed to night especially on public land it's sometimes hard to roost a bird but we will try to do that as of right now I'm gonna start making food and uh, get looking at some maps and stuff and see where I need to be in the morning and then get to bed because these long days they will uh, take a toll on you guys I'm up and ready to roll today we are gonna try to find us a turkey a turkey that's killable I'm at the trailhead and I'm, I'm tempted to start walking but it's starting to get to that time that I need to probably just listen I don't know how far I can hear with the greenery that's up right now but I'd like to still think I can hear it decent enough ways to cover some ground so I don't know really what the situation is but I feel like it's gonna be a largely run and gun day until something gives it a gives it a gobble back we have hunted for a solid bit hiked a lot and haven't heard a turkey so I figured we can go ahead and make breakfast and uh, that wouldn't do no harm in going and checking some of the other spots so I'm gonna make some oatmeal out of my jet boil I got brown sugar uh, and maple syrup or what a maple and brown sugar uh, Quaker Oats fast instant oatmeal so we'll uh, we'll put together some of that and then we're gonna bounce around from track to track and uh, see if we can spark up a bird if we can get one to gobble we can get one in the truck and headed home um, hopefully we can do that before I have to go home I just got some news that a buddy of mine is in the hospital he got 
in some altercation or whatnot um, in front of some store. So I gotta possibly head back home for that. But um, until I get word um, that we can visit or any of that, I won't head there. So let's uh, let's make some breakfast and hopefully let's find us a bird. Alrighty guys, I heard my first one. I got up this morning, I listened in a spot. I didn't find anything, didn't hear anything. Until I came here. And there's two, I think, right up here. So, uh, we're going to uh, work our way around. My Onyx is not working. Currently, it's all offline, but I know this is public ground. So, I'm going to try to work around and try to figure something out. So, I'm going to put you guys away, get my stuff, and we're going to get to scooting.
Ja, Bebe. Ja, Bebe. Ja, Bebe. I did it again. I did it again. <sighs> yes! 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 <sighs> He's done. I cannot believe it. Uh, I probably didn't get him close, but on, on camera. You probably didn't see him on camera, but uh, he was pretty close. But now it's time to call my biggest fan, and that is my grandma. And uh, she's been talking to me. She talked to me last night and yesterday morning and after all this, and she always wants to know. She told me, she gives me encouragement. She told me to find a turkey and kill one, you know, and... And uh, so we're gonna give her a call and uh, and show her that I got a bird. Oh, you got an Indiana turkey? Did you? Oh, baby. Oh yeah. Oh, let me get. This. Well, guys. I have taken all the pictures I need to of this beautiful, beautiful bird. And right now, it is the final step. The whole hunt comes down to this for me every single time. It's the little tradition I got of burying the feather to Basically, for me, it's symbolizing taking my uh, my grandpa on this hunt with me, and that's just kind of the tradition that I uh, I kind of hold. Today, I didn't grab the uh, I didn't grab the leaf jacket, which I just realized, and that makes me kind of sad um, that I wasn't able to do it with the leaf jacket on, but. It really, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter that much because I know that basically throughout this hunt that the reason I'm here hunting is because of the the lessons that he taught me and he instilled in me while we were in the deer stand, you know, 10 years ago, 12 years ago. So I'm going to bury this feather for him and uh, I'm going to call it on Indiana. <laughs>